guys, I'm Erika Maurri, two World Cups, seven European Cups, and former international rugby player. Welcome to my rugby house, my clubhouse. You know what? I never thought it was an amazing sport. Just a sport that made me curious. And so a uh, girl's guide that was a friend of mine who was going and tried this new sport, I went with her. I've always been a really lively girl, a really lively girl. And so I always play uh, different sports and my family was a sport family. And uh, in that period I began to play rugby when I was in the last uh, year of the high school. I was through in javelin and I was uh, training already every day uh, for a long time. And so when I went to rugby and uh, I felt the, the feeling of the team, because have you ever played in a sport team? It's a completely different thing from a single sport. And uh, I really love the fact of tackling. You know what is a tackle? So you have to run and grab the, the legs of your opponent. So when the other one, my opponent, have got the ball, it's a certain, it's an alchemy of uh, speedness, timing, and the satisfaction of, boom, taking the right time. For me, it was fantastic. And then, you know, the changing room, the dressing room, the feeling that you have to be a part of a world, you, you could not forget it. And so, the, for me, that was the thing that made the difference between javelin and I was at quite high level. But I have to thank athletics because they gave me, the, that sport gave me the preparation. When I arrived to rugby, I seemed an alien because they train twice a week, I, I train five days a week. And so that made the difference, so I have to thank athletics to be so at, at the level in rugby when I arrived. I come from a family where my mother was a, a, an international player of basketball and my father a rugby player. So in reality, rugby was already part of my story. When I was a, a child, I thought to have many, many uncles. In reality, that was the player of my father. When I grew up, I understand that they were the team of my father. And so for me, it was already a familiar sport, but I was lucky because not all the father who play rugby were happy about the fact of the daughter play rugby. And for example, in my team, I, when I do the washing machine, I was putting it inside the, the closest of other two uh, my teammates because their father didn't want that they play rugby. So uh, at the same time, the reaction of my friends I always been considered an extravagant person, but in reality, I'm totally, I never thought about it. I think that I do whatever I want and I can feel free to follow my good, to follow my thinking and my curiosity. And so, no matter what it is, is the fact that if you are free to express yourself, you could not feel the pressure of outside. Leadership is shown by the example, so arriving her first, leaving her for last, and the fact of always trying to understand before the feeling of the person and then the technique. The same thing is a, in a company, you have to understand what is uh, the feeling of your people and the people of your team and uh, what motivates them and what is uh, the moment of their life. Because, uh, as John Lennon say, life is something that happens while, while you are doing other plans. And so this mixture of life and, uh, and the thing that you love and the work that you have to do, you have to find a balance. And so a leader is someone that put for first his face in the things and uh, take the responsibility of the things so, and, and really often are not so pleasant. So it's an honor being a captain and a leader but you have to be really committed and uh, I don't use the word sacrifice because in reality you do with pleasure and uh, you are proud of being at the service to the other. First thing, uh, I share the word in intelligent people and uh, less intelligent people emotionally speaking, obviously. And uh, the matter of being a woman in a board and the only women elected in the board, 
for some people was a problem, for some other uh, not at all. But obviously for me that experience was really important because we coming from the pitch, the political dynamics are completely different. But I learned so many things. I always say that it was like a master in resilience and uh, rugby really helped me because it's a situational sport. So you react just uh, facing the setting that you've got in front of you and change the actions depending on the changing of the setting. And so this is the mindset that we teach to our girls and to our boys. So that was another skills that I learned working in a political world. I would say no, because the reality is that you are dealing with people and the human side and the sensible side and the fragile side and uh, you have to take care about this for first and then all the rest, all the hard side. And so having to work uh, and having to go to work every day obviously put another variable compared to the one of working in a volunteer, let's say, sector like sport. Uh, so the fact of uh, having the pressure of doing doing a result in the performance and creating performance that follow a program. That is the other variable that you have to consider. But this is the real hard work, making people feeling to be part of a project. And so if you are involved in a project and not just doing a job, this is the real difference. Like in the pitch, you are just running all toward the same try. And the fact of feeling part, of each one for his uh, specific skills and possibility and piece of art because at the end is this the thing that counts. We are different. One comes from Mars and the other comes from Venus. There is no question of better or worse just the question of how you approach people. We are person before being a male and a female. And so the matter is how you harmonize your way of leading with the fact of the other people doesn't have to feel uh, followers, but protagonists. Everybody's a protagonist in a project. So perhaps my style was just listening and sharing my fragility because everybody's got fragility, everybody's got point of strength and point of weakness. And the fact of admit it and share it, that makes the team stronger because you know where you have to go and help and support your teammate. And so this is a thing that perhaps men have, have got a bit more difficulties in admitting the fact of having fragile side. But these weaknesses, remember, are the starting point for getting a better performance.